Hello friend, uh, welcome back to this series. Uh, in this session, uh, last uh, last video we have uh, done the uh, we have prepared the client machine for the system, but still it is after joining the domain also still it is not reflecting a system console and we have created boundary and boundary group also. Uh, to reflect in a system, we need to do one more thing that is called a discovery method. Let's uh, do the discovery method on SCCM console. So here is the this is the SCCM console. Here we need to do the discovery method. For that, uh, go to the station. Uh, here uh, no uh, certain compliance discovery method. Go to administration hierarchy configuration and discovery method. Okay. Here there are the different uh, kind of discover method are there and uh, it has been defined here also. See there are the active directory forest discovery method, active directory group discovery method, active directory system discovery method and active directory user discovery method, heartbeat discovery and network. These are the six discovery methods are there. Uh, in the system and uh, each discovery method have a different unique work okay so the, what the forest discovery is doing it configure the setting of configuration manager use the use to find active directory forest from the activity domain services right so be for the enable this go to the properties and enable the active directory in forest uh, here automatically create active directory site boundaries when they are discovered and automatically create IP address range boundaries the IP boundaries then they are discovered and run every one week this is the default schedule but you can uh, change it right for me it's not required so apply uh, it asking that do you want to full discover as soon as possible yes as soon as possible I want then press yes and press ok uh now will the group discovery method uh do group discovery method i'll show a configure setting that configure manage user to find group from the active directory domain services okay so go to the properties here you need to enable the uh, active directory group discovery and you need to add the groups okay so you can provide the uh, name uh of the active directory you can provide the my ad all group okay this can be in sense right it makes sense i mean uh, my ad all group okay and uh, you can um edit i mean you have to browse for this group Is default domain forest and here distinguished name there is nothing you can browse location my company this is okay Uh, here uh, we can edit uh, group name is nothing but we can choose this one computers So we had doesn't have the group that's what it is not required okay enter the group but i don't have a group that's the reason maybe no nation cancel it uh enable the group and here uh, pulling schedule this is enabled 
option only that logged on only discover computer that have logged to the domain to given period of time and also this one you need to select only discover computer that have updated their computer account password and given time okay this is the uh, by default uh, time i mean days okay is this place yes discover the members here okay this one also done in the system discovery go to the properties here enable the system discovery you need to add browse i can select my company entire things okay and across here there's a discovery and continue discover objects within the active directory group okay i can select the option uh so then schedule enable discovery method it's perfect you can provide the attribute also you can add otherwise not required then it's okay you can click both the option okay and everything is done right yes uh, use the computer account to site discover or your specific account also you can provide that new account for uh, you can browse you can provide administrator 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 Press OK and give the password. Okay, you can verify it. Yeah, test connection. Your yeah, connection was successful. Verify it. So you can press OK. Okay. Now it automatically detect here also. And then press OK and go to the schedule. It's perfect. Active directory also. It's perfect. It's perfect. Press OK. Yes, as soon as possible, I require that's why I say yes. And active directory use a discovery also. Same thing, you have to go to the properties and enable this thing. Okay, here uh, you need to choose. Uh, yeah, I choose entire uh, directory and uh, use specific account, uh, new account. Uh, same thing, uh, you have to be do my company plus DMINISTRATO or administrator check okay and give the password two three one two three okay to verify test the connection it's successful then okay connection should be a successful here is done all is well and go to this here it's enabled you can change the schedule here also or you can say today yourself okay now this pm it's okay Active directory attribute you can change or you can keep it same. Okay, as soon as possible, I require then press OK. There are other two discovery method also there. We will do it later. Okay, now we have to see whether the systems are reflect or not. For that, we have to go to the asset and compliance and the all system. Uh, you need to replace it device collection to replace it. sick no, still not uh, reflected we need to wait for some time to the user collection 
all users yeah it's uh, king no so device should also come Yeah, now if you see it's a game, right? So now already if I says, yeah, all the clients uh, in the CFDR and uh, now I'll be able to see, but it is not discover the client is not healthy, okay? Uh, because we have enabled the discover method and we have created the boundaries. So according to that, it phase the data from the active directory, that's it. The client is still not at, uh, I mean, healthy. So if you see here, now the client is no, no, it's written. No means that is its side code also not assigned. But these two are the def, uh, I mean, default. It's not a matter. But these things need to be a discover, right? So what we have done in in this video, like uh, we have uh, uh, done the discover method, right? And now we do find manual installation. Then we will do, uh, I mean. Uh, client push method we will see the later first we need to the client manual installation okay so client manual installation we need to add site roles and client manager uh, for the client managing and giving say permission to the folder all these things but okay uh, let let go to the system here um, see there are the two methods we can uh, install the client whether we can do the manually or we can do the um, um, automatically right first we will see how we do it manually let me take uh, to the client 01 here if you look at go to the control panel uh, there is a no SCCM client available here okay and just open the taskbar also Okay, you know client management device available here and open the task manager in the task manager also nothing is running right CCM so we will do it manually for this so how we can do it I will tell you for that we have go to the uh, administrator administration and here in the hierarchy of configuration uh, uh, and sorry in the site configuration we have the site this is our site primary site it's a mumbai head office and the site code is mom right but uh, uh, in the server site system role or if you check there are the six roles has been installed uh, in this site so what are the roles it is uh, you know if you put it down it is there there are the six roles has been already installed uh, the every role have a different uh, work i mean unique uh, work so each and every uh, roles uh, require having some specific kind of work they will uh, do it so i will explain one by one so component server it's uh, uh, installed and the distribution point role also installed management point so so now in this session uh, the important point is management point so management point can manage the client and uh, um, you know install the client uh, all these things i mean manage the client but sometimes management client won't be uh, uh, managed to the client. So at that time, what we required, we required the for, oh, another role. That role name is, if you add the system role, you will see that the different roles could the next and uh, proxy setting is not required. Yeah, these are the roles are still available. Uh, out of these roles be required fallback status point this role uh, in you know sometimes management point will won't work then the fallback status point will work if you look at here it is completely written like if fallback status point helps you monitor client installation and identify the client that are unmanaged because they cannot 
communicate with the management point if the client cannot communicate with the management point at that time the fallback status point can manage the client right we require this thing for this uh, manual installation so click next okay it's perfect click next next okay now it's a uh, done okay once uh, the your the system role has been installed see the fallback status point has been installed so whatever the roles will install that will be so in uh, bottom of this uh, you know um, window so you can know that which roles has been installed which is not installed right uh, now we have to be do one more work go to the site configuration and uh, here go to the server side system role so click this one uh, side system uh, sites there is a, a hierarchy setting you click the hierarchy and use fallback uh, status for to unmanaged client uh, for the unmanaged client uh, for management from the management point so use this option and uh, and the fallback set uh, site is mumbai head office there is no other right this one is there and client approval conflict record your yeah, manual approve each computer at automatically this is out no, i mean by default is there no need to change anything do the just apply and go to the client and so upgrade client seven days yeah you can do uh, it upgrade the client automatically when new client updates are available right and you can apply it you can press ok okay now what be done uh, we have installed the uh, fallback status point and we enable over here here right now go to the uh, uh, it's a client setting so here the no not client setting not so this is the client push installation but uh, be required for uh, uh, manual installation right for the manual installation what we need to do uh, for the manual installation we need to do uh, see if you um, go to what is the server name SCM fun 01 right if you open this this is sccm site or sccm mum and sccm mum there is a client folder so here is the client setup is there right so what you will do you can uh, give the full permission uh, for this folder i mean sharing not require the sharing this uh, full permission go to the edit and click over the eight and type everyone sorry everyone checkbox okay and put it full control okay but we can save this folder also like uh, for that you have to be uh, local drive and the program files configuration manager here the client is uh, folder is there you can share this and uh, read right okay done change setting done okay and the security also you everyone is that is the ntfs yeah everyone is there not an issue and share everyone read right for me to okay not an issue okay so done the same setting sorry yeah okay done so the everything is done from the server side now we have to go to the client side to manual installation right so i already showed you there is no uh, ccm client in this client so we will do perform manually for that you have to look into these uh, uh, i mean uh, task manager what changes you will see okay uh, go to the run and same thing that you need to access that server i mean that folder for that uh, it's a ccm uh, hyphen zero one. I'm sorry. It's zero one. 
so we'll get the folder here it is there you can copy and locally otherwise you can um, like uh, uh, we have shared it right and a CCM client so you can do like this also like that's client this also may work but not an issue you can copy this thing okay and uh, paste it uh, on your local drive and computer in local drive okay and we can run it so what we have done in this session if you look at we have done the discover yeah client manual installation we have eight site tool on the client for the client menus and uh, give sharing permission to the client folder uh, you also need to perform one by one steps so it can be a successful right and say the client folder giving full permissions to everyone that also I done and now we will do the manual installation for that we have to run uh, the command uh, we will define it yeah sorry yeah, this is the client system. Where is that? I'll go to the client. Yeah, I have copied over here. For that, you have to be uh, open this thing. Okay. And open the command prompt with the administrative privileges. Right click and run as administrator. CD and press this site. Uh, now, uh, there is a CCM setup is there so you just click C and press the tab the EX will come now you have to be uh, if the management point is our SCCM uh, hyphen zero one and uh, log on to log on uh, uh, SCCM SMS site code SMS site COD SMS site code and uh, now fallback status point equal to uh, fallback status point equal to sorry what I have done in this command command management when log on log on SCCM site code fun mum and ps to write and share what you will do I'm I'm done the mistake here so I have to do it give the space uh, here uh, mu mum and psp equal to SCCM hyphen zero one. So now you have to be enter it. So the client installation will start. If you see this, see that the CCM setup ex is now started. It will take uh, some time to install the SCCM client, but I don't see any uh, um, SCCM client uh, icon over here. I mean, configuration manager client uh, icon over here. So once the process will complete then only the thing and it will discover the site code also over here if you look at uh, in the device in the asset and compliance go to the device collection okay all system in the all system uh, and now I'm installing an SCCM client but still the client is it's sitting uh, no all right client is not there that's the reason it is showing but uh, it should be activated it should be yes so we need to check it all right so that's the installation is complete so for time being I'm just pause this video
so once the installation comes